Hello friends, this video is for this assignment cycle December 2023, semester 2. All streams is applicable. Uh, subject is decision science. Let's start with the question 1. Draw the decision tree diagram and explain the best possible decision based on the EMVs, expected monetary value. On the 1st April 2023, Rajinder Sapru, an investor, is in a dilemma for the investment of 10 lakhs INR. He has consulted his Mumbai-based friend Mukul Bhai Gadecha and, uh, uh, Gadecha, an investment expert for this matter. Mr. Sapuru went to meet him at his office located at Prabha Devi. Mukul Bhai asked him to express his feeling for the market situation in coming economic year. Mr. Sapuru assumed uh, the economic growth for the coming years in the following ways. 10% optimist for the uh, good economic growth, 50% optimist for the moderate economic growth, 40% optimist for the lower economic growth. In addition to this, Mr. Uh, uh, Mukul Bhai Gattecha carried out his analysis to derive possible payoff values considering the various investment options as per the economic situation. Present in the table below, uh, here is the table. Figures are in INR on the investment of whole amount of 10 lakhs. If you were in a place of Mukul by Gattecha, what would you recommend to Mr. Sapuru? You are not allowed to use any software for the calculation, but for the present preparation of decision tree diagram, you are advised to use software like MS Word, PowerPoint, etc. So this is our table where it is uh, the shares are Maruti Suzuki, Tata Motors, and Dmart. And here you have a good economic growth, moderate economic, and low, low lower growth economic. Okay, let us see for the answer. We can see uh, decision uh, making under risk. In chapter uh, 10, Sorry. 98 <coughs> under this. So, here is the decision tree. Uh, this is how the decision tree looks when you are making it. Then you have expected value for strategic growth, then you have expected strategic. So this this is this is very important that you should write your answer like this. So take this example for your uh, um, question while writing. Then you have uh, expected monetary value for investment expectations. So here you have it. Um, so you have a demonstration problem. Ten point two is this one. with uh, 10.2402 so this is one problem which is again uh, easily explained here you can take it and here comes your uh, expected value of perfection information okay uh, EMB let me just try 398 Yeah, expected monetary value. So here is the explanation also. What it is. Okay. This is the one. Yeah, you are expected as it is mentioned in the question that you can use it either uh, Excel or PowerPoint or Word to make a decision tree. Just it is what is shown here. Similarly, you have to make it for uh, the question. Okay. So, if you are looking for some difficulty or not able to do it, please wait for my video too uh, to see how I have made it. Uh, that will be a reference for you. Moving on to question 2. Draw the appropriate chart using MS Excel. Also carry out exponential smoothing model in MS Excel for the given alpha values. Copy the results from Excel to Word and explain which alpha is relatively better for the forecast. In this journey of identification of relatively better way of forecasting, you may take support of MAD and MSC type of errors. Suggested alpha values are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and 0 0.9. So this is your table. Uh, it says yield of groundnuts per uh, 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 kg per hectare from the year 2000 to 2022. 
answers for casting you can start with here you have a uh, um, information enough for you to reach thousand words Three thirty-six. Yeah, this is a forecasting one. Uh, this there is one example also average yield. What is mentioned here? Uh, time series. Then we will be entering into errors, types of errors. Now mean absolute deviation is one error, and then mean square. Yeah, mean square error. So these two are there. Then we have a smoothing technique. So in the smoothing technique, you take a, a, a information a bit, then you have like um, moving average demonstration. So this is one demonstration, average errors. So more than average errors, let us go ahead with our MAD and uh, MES values. So for that, yeah, this is the best example, 9.3. Let me just check your parameter given. Yeah, 9.3 is the best example for you to go ahead with that. So similarly, you create a table for your values as well. And then finally, you have the MAD and uh, MSE values of each alpha. Uh, then you have uh, uh, the final one. So least one is going to be your favorable. So the errors are lesser and then that is what is your forecasting is better one. MAD is also least and MSC is also least and then you also have it here um, in the justification. Similarly, try to write it for yourself uh, for th your answer. Okay. Question 3a. You are not advised to use the software in this case. Show the calculate steps step by uh, types in your MS uh, file. In Roshni lights, manufacturer of a uh, Mirchi light, a production run of 2000 set of Mirchi light being um, tested for the life, the data shows that life is normally distributed with an average lifespan of 90 days and a standard deviation of 10 days. What is the probability uh, if a set of Mirchi lights randomly selected from the lot survived up to 100 days? Okay, so this is a normal distribution 189. You can write about the normal distribution. Then uh, we are like, um, looking for the demonstration at page number 200. Yeah, this is one demonstration which is easily connected close to your close to our um, example. Okay, moving on to question B. Draw an appropriate chart to show the dist uh, contribution of each con each category in percent form of micro, small and medium enterprises at the state level. Okay, You may use the MS Excel in conclusion uh, also write why you have chosen graph for this problem. Okay, So these are districts and these are state. Uh, total in, total uh, MSE, MSMES then micro, small and medium. Oh, sorry. Uh, moving on. Uh, the answer qualitative data graph so here you have a brief information if you want you can write down for the um, graphs why which graph suits better here comes your histogram um, qualitative quantitative graphs and uh, you also have a qualitative graphs frequency distribution OGs and uh, yeah qualitative pie chart bar graph okay then comes um, uh, two variables also you can look for page number 39 charts and graphs for two variables so take a brief information here uh, uh, in a decision science the best part is you don't have to come uh, close to thousand words or uh, uh, 500 words for part a and part b because there is a lot of calculation in graphs, if you are coming close to 300, uh, 200 words is also fine. The calculation part of, uh, will work in a different way. Okay. So thank you so much, uh, everyone. I hope uh, this video will be helpful for you. And um, I will try to make a video too, where I can give a little glimpse how you can use the MS Word and MS Excel to solve the problems. Okay. Thank you.